Some pre-tournament favorites stumbled on day one of the Coca-Cola Junior Championships at Boyne. Day two saw them come back to the front of the pack after 36 holes. Henry Doe of Canton played to a four-over score of 76 on the first day, but he didn't get mad. He pulled the tablecloth on the rest of the field. The 67 ended firing six birdies, including his chip in from the fringe on 12 that ends up in the jar. He shares a lead with Connor Dudley of Fremont, Ohio, who also went low to the tune of three under par 69. Another golfer making a move is Kyle Rhodes of Plymouth. His four under par 68 leads to three shots off the lead going into the final day. Something must be in the water in Plymouth. Donnie Trosper eagle the second after doubling the first en route to a one under 71 finish and sits four strokes behind the lead. Devin Diogan is a junior at Cranbrook and his two day total of 145 should push the leaders. Uh, well, my putting was pretty good yesterday and um, today I just kind of struggled a little bit but I just hung in there, had a lot of pars so didn't really give up too many shots on the course. Brandon Barrows of Rochester is playing solid and with a second round score of 171 to go with a 73, he is only two strokes behind the leaders. For players who saw this tournament slip away to the fringes of contention, they need a night away from the links. I'm gonna hit the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go pig out. Yeah, I'm gonna be eating here soon. I'm not sure if I'm gonna hit the range or not, but I uh, yeah. definitely need some work. That's for sure. Girls are also bunched tightly, but the trouble is they may be playing for second place. Jacqueline Cetus of East Lansing chips over the green next to the pin on the fourth. The problem is the false front catches her ball and it funnels over 20 feet from the pin. She two putts from there, and it was the only thing standing in her way of shooting par in a round of 73. Her lead sits at four strokes, but finds proven players that will push her on the final day. Julia Montgomery of Utica hits a solid tee shot on the 112-yard fourth, but her birdie attempt comes up short, and her par went toward her final round of 76. She trails Cetus, and so does Heather Siskowski, who makes bogey on the same hole as she falters to a six-stroke deficit. Haley Herinowicz of Muskegon also suffers from the wicked fourth, and her double bogey leaves her four strokes behind. Pat Her of Lansing was a co-leader after day one, but she slips to a second day 76, even though her par score here was well done, but she is in good shape to make up her three-stroke deficit. For the boys, it should be a wild finish with 30 golfers within eight strokes of the co-leaders, two-day total of 143. James P. out of Plymouth and Kyle Muller of Georgia are trailed by a single stroke. The girls will try to catch Cetus. Her four-stroke league is big, but the competition is close enough to give her a push. The Coca-Cola Junior Championships end with a third day of play on Thursday. For MI Prep Zone, this is Roy J. Akers reporting.